everything else. And depending on how you look at the tranny, a lot of that stuff still spins while you're pulling it. So I consider it still um, 500,000 miles on at least half the tranny because uh, all them parts are almost all them parts are still moving in there. So I decided to get me an oil test kit just to see because I have the original head gasket in it. timing chain which is getting changed uh going into this winter i was like, okay let's see what uh it's a dual overhead cam so to do the head gaskets a little bit more complicated but since i already have the timing chain off and all that it'd be nice to know if the head gaskets leaking a little bit so this is one of the tests i can't quite figure out where my other test is, I have like three unboxing videos I'm doing right now, and I think I just messed up with the wrong one. So, oh yeah, it unboxes itself. How oh, nice. So here's one of the tests I'm going to do. Um, it unboxed itself, because I guess I un did it upside down. But I bought this on Amazon. There is a different kit, but I've already had that, and I melted it. And nothing in the box. So it comes out with instructions. Very simple to use. <laughs> the picture is not the first one. Very simple to use. I'm gonna follow it to a T. I'm gonna use it on two different cars. See if it does anything. Let's get to that next. Oh, there's plenty of fluid. I was worried that the, there wouldn't be enough fluid. So you got 16 ounces. Caution, hot coolant. Running engines can be dangerous. Be sure to understand how your tester is before you use it. I think this stuff's pretty cool. Nice little packing thing. Another packing thing. So this was from Amazon. This is right how it came in the mail. That's probably my address. Yes, it is. It was $39.58. I'm assuming that probably. Why couldn't they make it so it screws on or something? Oh, I guess it pushes in. All right, it pushes in. It works all right. See how it's holding. Yeah, it's all right. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it definitely stays in there. So uh, the block test, combustion leak test. Doesn't feel as built as what it should. Like that feels like it'd come off. Well, I guess it does come off. Well, I'm sure you gotta pour out the fluid somehow. Feels like a harder plastic. I would leave this on at all times because it feels like that would deform for sure. If it was in your toolbox or something. Looks like the instructions may be on the side. Nope, just cautions. I think it's all pretty self-explanatory. You put this up to the line right there. Looks like it has a little type of filter down there. And then you put this right over the radiator cap or your overflow and you just keep pumping it. That will be in part two of the video. But this was the unboxing. Smart little thing, it unboxed itself. It's got a nice little check valve on the top. Hopefully it keeps working. It all feels like it's pretty well built. Like, I like how thick that plastic is. This rubber feels like it's a darn tire for a car. It's so nice. Yeah, thanks for watching. We got the little tester. I went ahead and put the fluid in because it wasn't one part of the video I just had to make. Got some coolant in there. I'm going to take off my cap. says give it a couple squeezes and if it changes colors you got problems there we go it won't pump another time it's basically sucked all that down and it didn't change colors let's test it one more time Okay, so it didn't 
come up with anything. Let's go to another vehicle. I have one other vehicle I could test it on. So I let it sit there for a while. It never changed colors. It also says leave it warmed up. Let your car be warmed up. Well, I have a car that is warmed up. And let's go test it. Okay, so here we have a car that just hit 120,000 miles. It's just uh, cool enough to where I can touch the lid. Let's test it out. It's not coming in that last time. And there it is again where it's not changing colors. So we got two good cars. And I test if this fluid even works right. We're gonna let it sit there for a little bit. It says pump it for a minute, but it didn't even go back in. So I think it's working right there. Okay, to test it, I'll remove this. Let's try this car one more time. Okay. Not bringing up anything. That's good. Still as blue as can be. Let's go ahead and put the cap back on that. And here's how you test if that fluid even works. Go ahead and start a car, which I have to start this car anyways. Back it off the ramps. Just did an oil change and we just sent out the uh, oil to get lab tested. After 275,000 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and back the car up off the ramps. And this is how you can test it. On your exhaust. Don't forget which side mine comes out. Like this side. Put this pretty close to it, and you should be able to suck it in. I'll change colors. You see that? It's yellow. Pure yellow, because gas goes through your exhaust. So if you had a leak. The test we just did before this would have went from blue to yellow. Thanks for watching.